Good morning everyone. Uh, welcome back to our channel, the Asian Mechanic Guy. And for today guys, uh, we got this 2013 uh, Chevy uh, Trucks LTZ all-wheel drive and it has a 1.4 uh, liters engine. Uh, complain of this car. Guys, uh, it has a leak and when I check the uh, engine oil, uh, it has too much engine oil on the engine. So guys, uh, I'm go we are going to uh, change the oil for this uh, car and uh, hopefully uh, we could uh, uh, fix this car for today. So guys, uh, join me and let's fix this car. So let's drain the, the car. That's the drain plug. And that's number 10 millimeter bolt. So guys, let's drain this car. Okay. Now it's loose. You it can just overhand. Oh, there you go. So let's see. leave it like that for a few minutes. So, by the way, uh, while the car is draining, the oil is draining, take a look at the, the leak, guys. There's a lot. See those colored greenish or yellowish part. So that from there, oil pan. Also in here, and I can also show you on the top. So right there, it's overflowing. Overflowing of oil. And see these guys. Hold on. Going to rotate this. I got almost holy crap. Almost what's that? Seven quarts? Or uh, seven liters. They put seven liters uh, of engine oil. No wonder it create this uh, leak. It has nowhere to go. The oil has nowhere to go. So the pressure inside of the engine pushes the the oil to come out. And there you go, it create this uh, leak because of too much oil, too much oil in the engine. And by the way guys, the capacity of this uh, car, 1.4 liters engine, 2013 Chevy trucks is 4 liters. And as you can see, it has almost 7 liters at 7.5, so on the middle, it's 7, isn't it? Yeah, too much oil. And guys, we are going to replace also the oil filter and then the oil filter location is in here on the top this one we are using a 24 mm socket and a short swivel put it in there so guys uh, when loosening this be careful with this plastic you might gonna 
hit this one and it will break so do it slowly go and now it's loose okay now it's loose let's remove it put a new one so this is the new one nice let's remove this there you go let's just clean this one now it's clean let's change also the o-ring it's the o-ring one go and let's put it back so untight first now let's tighten it So this one should should be just enough tight or snug. Alright. Alright. Now it's already tight. Alright guys. Sometimes the spacer will stay in here so I mean the not spacer it's a rubber so don't forget to remove that and put back in here now good Put back the bolt. And also for this one, should be not too tight, it's just snug. So now, guys, we are putting 5W30 engine oil Lucas. And we are gonna put, see this. Four liters. There we go. Four liters of engine oil. So, guys, let's check the dipstick. And as you can see, it's just on the maximum level. Now we could start the car. Alright guys, let's put back the engine cap. Now let's start the car. Alright. Sounds good. So guys, uh, we are going to reset the oil life for this car. 
so guys uh, we are going to reset the oil life for this car so key on the ignition switch put it on accessories and it has a code 82 and then on your hold on on your left side there was like this press this uh, menu button that's the oil life that's zero I hope you could see that let me so it says zero and now press this for a few minutes I mean few seconds and it's become 100 there you go then turn it off and then start the car Oh guys so guys uh, that's how you do an oil change for a uh, 2013 uh, Chevy trucks LTZ with a 1.4 uh, liters engine and guys uh, as you can see if you put too much oil on it it will cost a lot of leak so put the recommended uh, quantity of the oil for every car so if you have any question guys any suggestion uh, please comment down below and consider like and uh, subscribe my channel too that's all for today and see you in my next video bye bye